Hi everyone, I'm Simon and welcome to Coldwater Tanks. Uh, another short beach exploring or uh, rock pooling video today. Visited a nice beach with a wife recently uh, to enjoy the tiny bit of nice weather we've had so far this summer. Of course I had to take a look around to see if I can find anything interesting. It's a sandy beach, so not the most exciting area for creatures, you would think. So I really didn't expect too much here. Just around the corner I found this wonderful little rock pool. Really, it's a nice mix of different macroalgae here. Uh, most of it is stuck to the rock walls, uh, but maybe there's some attached to smaller rocks that I could bring home. I didn't bring any buckets or anything this time though, so... But I might go back at a later time and collect something from here. Probably a great spot this for these uh, dahlia and beadlet anemones to catch food with the water and current going in and out like this. Uh, this is probably a common hermit crab. I uh, really should get a few of these for the crabitat. Uh, but I need to collect a bunch of empty shells first though. Uh, so that they have new houses to grow into. Uh, here's another tiny little rock pool. And as you can see there's a lot of beadlet anemones in this one. Uh, they must be incredibly hardy. Hardy creatures. And yeah, can tolerate all kinds of temperatures as this this pool will get really warm really quickly on the warmest summer days. So these anemones are really good candidates for a uh, cold water tanks run without a chiller. As you can see there's lots of small fish in the rock pool. Mm, but I didn't really look too closely to see what they were. Might be three spine sticklebacks or or fry of of some sort. Uh, here we have a nudie branch of some kind. I have no idea which. Uh, if you do, you can always leave a comment. Uh, I've tried adding a few of uh, a few new to branch to my tanks, uh, but they've always just disappeared. The uh, problem with many of them is that they have very limited diets, so you need to have access to, yeah, like exactly what they eat in the wild to keep them alive, which can be a challenge. As you can see, there's loads of barnacles here. Uh, 
Looks like this limpet has been sitting here for a while. Well, that's all for this little video. Just a short one today. Uh, if you liked it though, please uh, click the like button. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. And also please leave a comment if you have any kind of feedback. Questions, suggestions or... Yeah, whatever. Uh, it's all very much appreciated. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter and Reddit. Uh, you can check the video description or, or just my main YouTube page for links. Anyways, see you later. Thanks for watching.